What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So it has been a little bit of time, actually, since my last recording here. Uh, Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I've been keeping up with my Twitters or with me on my live streams or whatever. Uh, About a week ago, I would say, I went and I got surgery. Yeah, I got LASIK eye surgery. Ever since I've been playing Minecraft, well, actually, before I've been playing Minecraft, I've been wearing glasses in real life. And I decided that it was about time that I got rid of wearing glasses, and I went and I got the surgery so I don't have to wear them anymore. Uh, so it's, like I said, it's been about a week. I've let my eyes recover. I probably could have recorded before now, but I decided, you know what? Let's take a little bit of time off and just be double sure that everything's going to be okay. But yeah. I am back now. I can see very, very clearly. I had to wear glasses to drive before. Now I have uh, beyond 2020, which is perfect vision. I have 2015 vision, which is better, like superhuman vision now, which is amazing. So yeah, I don't have to wear glasses anymore. I have great eyesight. It's all good. Um, so I wanted to start off today by let's knock out some quests. So we got a whole bunch of these quests in the extra utility section. I saw this one right here, screen. I was like, you know what? That is blocking us from doing the angel block, which we've already done and we've already made dark glass. So let's get this one done so we can unlock both of those. So it says the screen displays any imgur image. Just give it a URL and URL. It should be a, um, so I don't think I've ever used this before. And I didn't know that this thing would actually go and pull images from injure so that's pretty cool uh let's take a look at the thing here not injure <laughs> the screen what is this thing how much does it cost so it costs three stone burn two of the ender shards and a resonating redstone crystal all right let's take a look at this thing screen that we don't have any of these things so ender shards come from ender pearl plus a glass cutter have we not made a glass cutter yet? Apparently we have not. Otherwise I would have shift clicked in there. Okay, so glass cutter. And then we can, whoops, we need to do this recipe for the ender shards. All right. And now we have that. So now we need to get ourselves three stone burnt. And to get that, we need polished stone put through a resonator. Do we have any polished stone? Do we have any stone brick? We do, okay. So stone brick like that makes the polished stone. Now we just have to put those into the resonator, which apparently we have two of. Did we get one as a reward? Did I make that thing twice? I'm honestly not sure. We must have gotten that as a reward. Uh, I don't think we made any speed upgrades. Oh, I guess we did. Okay. So resonator. Yeah, I've been kind of cleaning up around here. Um, I moved like all the applied energistic stuff into the wall. I don't remember if we talked about that or if that was just off camera stuff that I did. I think that might've been off camera. Anyway, I did push that stuff back a little bit and try to clean that up. So speed upgrades in there and the polished stone goes here. Apparently we don't have enough. We don't even have enough for all of those speed upgrades in there. It's so weird how this works. I really need to go and make myself a few more um, of the water mills. I think we only have two over here, which is like enough for us to fly around using the ring of the flying squid and then i guess we have nine more solars that only work during the day but yeah we should make some more of those things so we have a bit more gp grid power for us to use all the time for various different things like for the resonator over here so that is now done now that we have that we can tell it to make ourselves a screen okay Quest complete screen i expect that we should get two more quest completes now that we have unblocked the other ones Yep, angel block, that one's now complete. We're using the angel block for the altar that I put up in the sky. Way up so. And then the dark glass, we got that one complete. Okay, so let's check out the screen. I've never used this before, so it just has that. Uh, max file size. How do you do this? Done. How do you shift right click? That's not what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how this thing works. It says that you can put an image in there, but I'm not sure how you I'm clicking. Oh, you just type. You just type. That's how it works. So let's do this. 
Uh, let's try this one. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that thing absolutely does work. It pulls images from Imgur, and that's pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, so let's get ourselves our reward for that. We'll take the top loot chest. Uh, let's do the middle loot chest for the angel block. And then finally the dark glass, which we made a while ago for our mob farm. We'll claim that one too. So we get ourselves chili dog. That sounds delicious. And ender chest, white, white, white. That's rare. What is the recipe on that? Ardite obsidian. Uh, I guess that is a little expensive at the start. I think we can make that right now. No problem though. And then this guy, liquid fuel tank from advanced rocketry. Four of them. So those are just made out of steel. So that's not like super crazy, but I guess you get four of them. So that's a few steel. All right, so that's pretty cool. We'll just put all this stuff away. And our chili dog will stick in the fridge. We don't want that to spoil. I like that stuff actually does spoil, but you know what I mean. All right, so that is all done. That's cool. So ethereal glass is the next one in this line. I'm not sure if we can actually even make this stuff. Um, I think that requires a moonstone. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it requires a moonstone. And that you can either find in the world or you can do lunar reactive dust around an unstable or a stable ingot. Do we even have a moonstone? M-O-O-N, that spells moon. No, we do not have a moonstone. Okay, you know what? I think we'll hold off on making that for a little while. Uh, so a cursed lasso is one of the next steps in order to get to an angel ring. I don't think we can actually make the angel ring yet, but let's just do the cursed lasso since we are going to need that. So that is a golden lasso plus a drop of evil. We already have the golden lasso, and I'm sure we have an extra drop of evil. There we go. So there is a cursed lasso. Cool. So that completes this quest here. And top blue chest, we'll claim it and we'll pop it and we get ourselves nickel ore. 16 of them. Okay, so we get a little bit extra nickel. I mean, I guess that's an all right reward. I guess we don't need that on us anymore. Or this cursed lasso. I am curious though, that angel ring, what does it cost for this? So in order for us to get an angel ring, we need two ethereal glass, which we can't make yet. Well, we might be able to. Hold on. Before I say we can't do that, the lunar reactive dust. We need 16 GP, and that converts lapis into the lunar stuff. So that's no big deal. It's the stable, unstable ingots. So that's iron, uh, stick, and diamond. That makes the unstable ingot. Now these, when you craft them in this way, you get like five seconds in order to use them in a recipe and they have to be used in a vanilla crafting table. If you drop them on the ground or you wait longer than five seconds or 10 seconds, whatever it is, they explode and they kill you. Uh, you can do these stable, unstable nuggets and craft them into a stable, unstable ingot. But actually, I guess, can we craft those? Yeah, okay, so that's an iron. So essentially, it's instead of one iron ingot, it's an iron nugget and a diamond. You have to use nine diamonds per instead of one diamond per. So it's a little bit more expensive, but that way it's stable and it won't blow up on you. So I guess that is something that we could do. Even still, we need an elytra, which we can't make yet. Or can we? It looks like we have a crafting recipe. We do need chorus fruit in order to make it, though. Do we have any chorus? No. Doesn't look like we have chorus fruit. So we do have to visit the end. That is interesting that there is a recipe to craft that. Let's actually go back in here real quick. So leather tunic, yeah, that's just leather or these woven cottons. Okay. Uh, popped chorus, we know how to make the diamantine crystals, just diamonds in front of the laser. And the white banners, just wool and stick. That's not a big deal. Okay, so that's really cool. All we really gotta do is just get to the end islands. So defeat the end dragon throw a pearl through the little warpy thing, and then we can get ourselves chorus fruit. Actually, I guess there might even be a recipe for that. Let's just take a look before we go any further. So the chorus, okay, if we had the nature essence for mystical agriculture, we could do it. Yeah, this shows that only comes from the end. Can we sift for it maybe? Block drops, common create, common urn. Okay, so some of the thomcraft different things, I'm not sure where you find those. 
Yeah, I don't know where you find those, so I don't know if we can do that or not. Okay, well, we're just going to hold off on proceeding with the Angel Ring. I don't think we can do that just yet, right? So wireless RF, that sounds pretty awesome. If you connect a wireless RF battery to energy, you'll be able to wirelessly power machines with a wireless RF transmitter. Simply place a transmitter and it'll connect to a nearby tiles that take power. Each transmitter can at most output 80 RF per tick. So it is not a whole lot of RF, but it is wireless power and that's kind of cool. So we need a wireless RF battery and a wireless RF transmitter. Wireless RF battery. So that requires more stone burn, some redstone engineering blocks, copper and constantan. All right. And then the single battery. So that's the advanced coil. This nonsense. Some anori crystals. That's just iron in front of the laser. Okay. Well, I tell you what, let me go ahead and craft this up. And then the wireless RF transmitter requires wireless boosters. Ender dust. I think we can do all this stuff. Wireless network card. It's getting needlessly complicated. Okay. I think we can do all of that. And then this, yeah, transistor. Okay. We can do all of that stuff. It's just using open computer micro crafting to make the recipe harder. Sure. Let me go ahead and get to that and we'll be right back guys. All right, guys. So it's in the process of making the items we need. So we need a wireless RF battery, which we made that. And then we also need this wireless RF transmitter which requires the wireless boosters, which we need ender dust. So the ender dust we can get from ender pearl powder, which is nine ender pearls, put through a sag mill, which we haven't even started on that yet. Uh, we can also make a quartz grindstone and grind those manually, or we can get ourselves a pulverizer from thermal expansion and put a pearl through there. And I think that's what I want to do. Um, now, in order to get to this point, I was kind of looking at our quest section here. So in the thermal expansion section, uh, we have to make a redstone furnace in order to make the pulverizer, or at least unlock this. And to be honest, we really should have both of these machines by now. So let's start on making a redstone furnace first, and then we'll make the pulverizer, and then that'll allow us to continue on with what we wanted to do here. So the redstone furnace is made with a machine frame, some bricks, copper, gears. Like, all this stuff is pretty simple. Uh, I guess we don't have the copper gears, which we can make pretty quickly, though. Is take apart some of those blocks here, and we just need to get ourselves some copper. Don't need that much, but I'll just make a few extra gears, and I'm sure we're going to be needing those uh, in the future anyway. So we will swap that out for the gear mold, and we'll just make four copper gears. Awesome, and I'll put the plate mold back there so I don't accidentally do something wrong in the future. All right, so we now have the copper gears, and I think that's about all we needed to get this going here, yeah? Let's take a look. We do this. Oh, we are missing brick. Can we make that? How are we doing on uh, clay? All right, we need eight clay. We'll do 16. We'll do a quarter of a stack. That's fine. Okay, we just needed two of these bricks, though. Very good, and that should be all we need here in order to make the redstone furnace. All right, so that should complete one quest. Okay, redstone furnace complete. We can remove that from our list of things. Now the pulverizer is a little bit more expensive. It does require either a crusher from Actually Additions or a double crusher. Now I didn't look, and I probably should have. We look at the Actually Additions. Is that a quest to make the crusher? or the double crusher. So there's a crusher recipe and then a powered furnace. Okay, so we do have to make that. That unlocks one quest here. Let's grab this one. This will do the uh, middle loot chest. So that's a framed block. Get 64 of those and that's from Block Craftery. I think that's like the, uh, what was that mod called? I don't remember. Like the engineer's blocks or whatever, where you could like place it down and then place any block in it you could smack with a hammer and change it to like a wedge or whatever. I think that's the same kind of a mod. I'll have to double check that a little bit later if I remember. But anyway, uh, so in order to do that, we have some pistons ready to go. We are missing these flint large plates. Okay, so flint large plates. I think we can just craft that right here maybe. Part crafter large plate flint. Okay, so there is two flint large plates. Anything else we need? 
We need whatever's in the top center. So that's the crusher. So we have pretty much everything else ready to go here. We just need this now. So we have most of that, except we are missing an iron casing. In order to make an iron casing, we're missing quite a few things. Oh boy. So iron casing, let us put that down so I don't have to keep digging through here. Iron sheet metal. So we need four iron plates. Let us do that real quick before I forget about that. And I think the other part of that is going to require us to do a little bit more stuff here. I did put the plate mold in, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we have the iron plates. We have to turn that. Oh, I was going to look at this thing. So we have that. We Did we have the hardened casing? I think we are going to have to make the hardened casing, and that was a little bit more involved. Let's go back here. We will make those guys. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Uh, tin electron tube, not a big deal. Hardened casing. So we have to do a sturdy casing plus some diamonds. And do we have any sturdy casings? We do. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, diamond for those. And then we need, was it a carpenter? Let's go back. I can't remember. Yeah, a carpenter with water in it. And I believe that was over here. Squeezer, carpenter. That's got a little bit of seed oil. Maybe I should try and finish that up real quick before I get rid of that stuff. Uh, so wood. I don't, is it like two more sticks that we can make with the 200 millibuckets? I'm not sure. It looks like we're doing something. How much we have left? Oh, we can do two more. All right. So we will just use the rest of that seed oil. Perfect. All right. So now we need our water, which I think is back under here. <laughs> we don't have a good way to get into the carpenter. Can I do that? Can I pick this machine up? It won't let me pick it up. Maybe if I'm further away. No. Okay. So I do need to get this guy over here. I'll put a little bit of water into this machine. Let's get the recipe set up for that. And we need a sturdy casing. So once we get five buckets of water in there, that should just go ahead and start working. Yeah, it looks like we're doing something. Cool. So I'll go ahead and finish this up. 10 electron tubes, thermionic fabricator, not a big deal. Yeah, I'll go and finish this up and we'll be back, guys. All right, so we made the iron casing. Now we can make ourselves a crusher, which should complete yet another quest. There it is. All right, so now the crusher quest is complete. We should be able to do this. And yeah, those copper gears I made, we needed those. So there is a pulverizer. Okay, so now we have both the pulverizer and the redstone furnace. That's really awesome. So let's get back here. Crusher is now complete. We take the bottom loot chest. And then we can go into the thermal expansion section and claim two of these. So we'll do the top one. Okay. And then we'll take the middle one. Lots of loot chest open. Onion hamburger. A supremium watering can. Sweet potato pie. I think we already, yeah, we already got that supremium watering can. So that's cool. We have two of those now. Oh, you know what? I don't, didn't remember getting multiple of these infinite water sources. So I guess I can throw the other one back over here. Okay. Uh, so now that that's done, I guess we can clean up our inventory just a little bit and put our food items in our fridge down here. So many food items. Okay. So that's done. Uh, pulverizer is going to allow us to make the, well, I guess that's going to allow us to make the wireless booster since we can now do the ender dust. And it'll also allow us to make the fluex dust, which is pretty awesome. So we need two, no, we just need one ender pearl, ender pearl. And then we just need to get this power somewhere. I guess we'll just toss it right here. And let's put the furnace under here as well. I don't know if this is where we're permanently going to keep these things, but for right now it's fine. Okay, so that goes really quick. That's pretty awesome. Does this say 125 RF per tick? So yeah, that machine's been boosted a little bit. How fast is this, the redstone furnace? That goes pretty quick too. Not as fast as our ultimate furnace over here, but that's still pretty quick. Okay, so we have the under dust and that will allow us to make the wireless booster. Okay, we need Fluex dust. So we have to take a regular Fluex. Let's clean up the inventory a little bit more since we're here. Okay. 
So regular Fluex crystal. There we go. So there's the Fluex dust. And then we should be able to make those wireless boosters. Awesome. Okay, so we are now missing some more stone burn. So I guess uh, we need stone turned into stone brick. We've already like used up all of that stuff. Let's make some extras of this. Polished stone. Oh, I guess we can use the cracked stone brick too. We'll just throw those guys in there. Let that convert into uh, a lot of the stone brick because we're going to need that anyway to make more of the like the water mills and stuff. All right, so there is microchips card base. Okay, so there's a card base and then we should be able to make this guy now wireless network card. So the only thing we're missing is just two stone burn, which we have right here. Awesome. Done. Wireless RF transmitter. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work for the wireless RF that only produces 80 RF per tick, which isn't even enough for like the thermal expansion machines that we just got done making. So I'm not sure how much use this is going to have. Um, simply place a transmitter and it'll connect to nearby tiles that take power. Each transmitter can take at most output 80 RF per tick. But does it see how far away that works? It doesn't really say, it just says nearby, right? Hmm. Okay, well, let's take the top loot chest on that. We'll pop it. We get ourselves a silky jewel. Okay, so if we wanted to make silk touch, I don't think we've made a silk touch pickaxe. Well, if we want to make a silk touch, we can now do that. What is the recipe on that? Is that really expensive? Silky string around gold and then gold around emerald. So it's not super expensive, but that's kind of cool that we have one of those now if we do want to make that in the future. So the wireless RF, I am kind of curious. Let's take this, put it over here. Oh, it retains its power. So that's not going to work. I wanted to see how this thing reacted. So that is using grid power. It has a drain of four. So it has 3,200 RF in it. So if I put this wireless transmitter here, does that just work? Okay. Wait, the wireless transmitter transmits to all the machines nearby. It doesn't just transmit to whatever it's touching. So if we place that right here. Oh, I don't think I've actually used that before, but since this pulver or the redstone furnace requires 125, that's not going to work too well. Let's just try this out and see it work. Cause I'm just curious to see it. So we are using power. And if I stop using power, it is charging back up. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I do like it. Uh, it's not enough to sustain these machines, but that is very useful. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, don't think we're going to be using that here. Maybe we'll find a use for it somewhere else that with a machine that has low RF requirement and we don't want to run a cable directly to it. Yeah, it could make for a cleaner design for something. But anyway, now that we have that done, that unlocks mechanical users and then eventually a scanner. Um, mechanical user can be used to automate nearby. I'm sorry. The mechanical user can be used to automate nearly every player action, such as breaking blocks, clicking blocks, filling, emptying buckets, and a whole lot of other stuff. I am curious, though, if the mechanical user will use one of these watering cans that we just got. Then we can automate some farms using this, and I don't have to sit there and right click. That could be pretty cool. So mechanical user, see what the recipe is for this. That requires two automated users, but that gives us two mechanical users. Automated user requires a turtle. I did not realize there were turtles in this. CC tweaked. Well, that was kind of weird. I went to go click into the text box down here and my window moved off screen a little bit and I wasn't able to like really see the entire window anymore. And it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, I couldn't like press F11 to full screen and come back to fix it. I had to close out of the game and reload it. But anyway, like we're trying to make this mechanical user and I got everything together here. We made the turtles and the axes and all this stuff, but we need the refined obsidian ingots. And in order to make that, the only way I can see is that we have to have an osmium compressor and then we have to place osmium in here to turn into liquid osmium to make this. Uh, you can cast out molten refined obsidian, right? But you have to already have the ingots. Like you can't just use the dust like we have. Yeah, I went through all this stuff looking and I clicked on all these different ones. 
So we have to have the osmium compressor uh, in order to proceed with this refined obsidian dust, which is kind of weird, but it's the way this works. So an osmium compressor requires two advanced circuits, some enriched alloys, steel casing, and some buckets. So we already have everything together here for an osmium compressor. That should complete another quest, I do believe. I didn't actually look to see if there was one, but I believe there should be. But we're not getting the little sound, so maybe there wasn't one. So osmium compressor there, we need to... I guess I can just do it right like this. Break that guy and stick it right there. Okay, there we go. So we got power in this. Uh, we do need obsidian, or not obsidian, osmium. Osmium, we got a little bit of ingots action happening here, and I think it's a little over one ingot, if I remember correctly, per one of these things. I do believe we need two of them. Let's see how this thing works. I don't know if there's another way to get liquid osmium more efficiently than putting the ingots in there directly. Yeah, so you can see it like rolled over to the next one before this one was finished, so... Uh, you do need like three ingots to make two of these. Okay, there we go. So we got two of those guys. So now that we have that, oh, there's a quest for that. What is that under? Mechanism, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, so refined obsidian ingots. That's cool. So let's take this one, claim it. Let's make sure we get that. And then we're back to, I don't remember which section we're in right now, actually. I guess osmium compression presser we just did so mechanical user let's click on here right so we should have everything now for that the computer right i was gonna look this has cc tweaked in it computer craft tweaked so i didn't realize that we had all these different types of turtles in here which is pretty cool i knew that we had open computers and in fact some of the recipes for these different items require the open computer stuff which is a lot of micro crafting to get to those parts. Um, yeah, some of them are worse than others. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that this was in there. So that gives us the possibility of opening up some other types of automation further on in our playthrough here. But anyway, uh, these computer terminals, the computers themselves are required for this recipe. Yet that's not working. So why not? Uh, mechanical user, the automated user. Oh, I didn't turn it into a turtle. That would probably help. All right, so there's two turtles. Now we should be able to make this. There it is. Okay, so two automated users. Wait, what did we just lose out on? Oh, the other refined obsidian ingot. Okay, so that is two of those. In order to make the mechanical user, we needed two of those in order to turn into it. There isn't a quest for this under cyclic. I guess we don't have a cyclic section. Okay, so those guys turn into the mechanical users, and there it is. Awesome. So if we go back to extra utilities, into here, top loot chest, we'll claim it. Now we get two of these. So we get another... Oh, is that, a, is that what we had before? Signalum upgrade kit. We had the conversion kits. Ew. I almost feel like I should plop those under these guys over here. That upgrades them from the base ones. Wait a second. Is that not using these at all? Did I still have two of these ones? Now I use that one. Oh, did we get more than just one? Maybe we got two of them and I didn't realize that we got two. That's got to be it. Anyway, uh, let's open this chest and we get a Peking duck. Peking duck. Okay. I think we've gotten that before as well. Yeah. Second time we've received that food item. Okay, so now we have three of our thermal expansion machines and they are now upgraded. So these machines now require 312 RF per tick. Okay. So I am kind of curious though. If we look at, do we have any more iron? How much, what other kind of ore do we have here? Tin ore? I'm kind of curious to see how much faster this goes. Now, I know now that we've upgraded it, we can put in some augments to make them go even faster, but by default, it should just go faster without adding any other upgrades. So that's pretty fast, actually. That's really good. I like these. I definitely like this change. I will add in the augments eventually, but for right now, I think we're just going to leave it alone like this. Awesome. Okay, so that is done. 
So the mechanical user, I did want to see if we could use that with the Supremium watering can. I am kind of curious to see if that is a combination that works. All right, so previously we had a sprinkler here. I'm trying to shift click it on there. It won't let me shift click it on there. Uh, let's do that, that, okay. Let's we'll say upper left slot only, right click. Mm, use item on block, activate item with block maybe is what we want. Use item. I'm not sure if that's working or not. I'm not seeing any particle effects. Let's try entity. Generic click. We're doing right click. Place block. Use item on block. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of these things grow. So this might not actually work. Use item. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't see that working. Maybe we could try this in a different configuration. Maybe if I have it pointing down. So like if we place this here and I point it down, is there a way that I could do that with a wrench? There we go. So like it's trying to click on a block or something. Maybe it'll work that way. Maybe it just doesn't work trying to click it onto what we are doing there. Upper left slot only. So that's this one. Generic click, place block, use item on block, activate block with item, use item on block. Yeah, I feel like we'd be seeing particles if this was working, and I'm not seeing particles. So we should be seeing that if it was doing something. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to work with this mechanical user. But that's fine. That's just one thing that I thought that we could do with this. But since we can't do it, I'm sure we'll find other uses for these mechanical users, uh, either for placing blocks, breaking blocks, etc. So we could even use it um, in a mob farm if we wanted to. If we had some kind of unbreakable tool to like smack enemies with, with like looting three or something. So we can do that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess we can't do it right now, which is fine. Um, it would have been kind of cool to be able to just do it that way, but like I said, it's not a big deal. All right, cool. So let's put that away. Oh, I didn't put the soybeans or the cucumbers away. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so we can knock out quite a few quests here. Uh, scanner is the last one. It says a scanner scans a block in front of it. It's extremely configurable. I'm not sure if we can even craft this. That actually is rather inexpensive. Okay, so let's craft that up. Do we even have, we even have everything ready to go. So there's the scanner. It scans the block in front of it. It is very configurable. Block detector current, block, free world, customized flat air. My cat's bumping the mic if you can hear that. <laughs> uh, select which properties you allow, set current block, signifies the current value of the property. Okay, well, let's try putting it in front of something else. Okay, set to current block. Type, furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, smelter, refinery. What is the block here? That is an induction smelter. Uh, do we have an induction smelter as an option? I don't see an... In we have this smelter. Well, let's try putting it in front of the pulverizer then. We'll try that. See... What kind of information it gives us? Set to current block. Oh, it does. Okay, so the one in brackets is the one. Does that require power? Select what properties are allowed. I guess we want to do all these because we only want the pulverizer. Uh, I'm still not understanding. Yeah, signifies the current value of the property. I'm still not understanding what this does for us. It's extremely configurable. Set to current block. I feel like that requires power. Maybe we should get those energy things. See if we can feed that little bit of power. See if that does something for us. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be getting power. 
Yep, I honestly don't know what this thing does. So I guess I'm going to have to go look this one up. Uh, we can see that it's doing something, but what it's doing, I, I honestly don't know. It just says select what properties are allowed and there's no other information here. Okay, well, that's going to be my homework assignment to try and figure that one out because I honestly can't tell what it does just by looking at it. Is there an extra utilities manual? There might be. I should probably just look that up. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Mm -hmm. We knocked out some quests. We got some stuff going on. I should be back to a normal recording schedule. Again, I apologize for the lack of videos, but I'm sure you guys understand with what I went through. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.